All right, welcome to a new Lighthawk video. This one here is on our brand new Lighthawk Challenger. The Challenger is our biggest, fastest boat to date. Comes with a 2.4 uh, gigahertz radio for extra long range. You can also enter this with you and your friends and get into real boat racing as you can run uh, multiple boats simultaneously. You're also going to see our battery. This is a three cell LiPo battery. <clears throat> you have your uh, plug here as well as your balance port. We don't have the charger which would come in the box and you open it up on the table. This is a standard charger just like uh, you would be used to seeing. As well you'll see a Ziploc bag in there and in there is the rudder, the propellers and some tools for what I'm going to show you next. We're just, the boat is currently sitting on a stand uh, so make sure to use the stand whenever you're not running the boat just to make sure there's no damage to the hull and uh, I mean keep it on the shelf. You can always look at your masterpiece when you're not using it. It's going to turn the boat this way as you can see this linkage here uh, is for the steering uh, servo to move the rudder. Okay and we're going to mount the rudder over here. It's offset from the propeller. So when we open this bag, we're going to have our propellers, and we're going to have our rudders, and we're going to have our Allen keys. Now if you've got another Allen key driver handy, uh, you can use that as well. But uh, these guys right now are just somewhat uh, finger tight. We're going to definitely want to make sure to lock this down when we do our assembly. So we've got one screw out, two. This really uh, is not difficult and it's just a few minutes and you'll be out running uh, on the lake make, or your local pond. Make sure uh, to use this time and charge the, the battery. So we're just going to put both the, uh, the bolts through. Okay these as well. You don't have to worry about these rusting or deteriorating. So I'm just using, going to use my uh, fingers here to get that started. And then we'll tighten it up. This little nub on the top is for your uh, you're going to attach this hose to. And this is uh, because on the rudder is where you're going to pick up the water which is going to run in through the boat and keep your uh, electronics and your motor nice and cool. Um, we don't want to have any overheating of the electronics. We already mounted our rudder. And next up is we just have to put this uh, guy in here, which is this is your linkage for your servo. And we're just going to undo this. Okay, and this screw on top essentially acts like a like a lock nut or a cam nut. Got to make sure to back it off quite a bit or take it right out. Move this into place. Okay. You want to make sure to try to get your rudder straight. After we've done this, we're going to you'd have to turn the radio on and the uh, and the boat on just to center your servo. There's trim buttons on the radio, which I'll show you. So we're just going to put that in by hand and then lock it down. Okay. We've got that locked down. So on the radio, you're going to see that this is your steering wheel left or right. So when we turn on the, the, the radio and then the boat, if we find this rudder is turned off to the side like that, we're just going to push one of these buttons left or right until we get it centered. When you get the boat in the water, uh, first just drive slowly and make sure the boat's tracking straight. Again, you just whichever direction it's going, just hit the opposite button here. One click is one uh, degree of movement, so you can just keep hitting as many times as you need to straighten that out. So once we've got our, our rudder on, the next step would be to install the propeller. And again, it's a really easy job. There's an extra propeller in the bag for you. And uh, you'll notice here, there is a nut, which you can just simply take off by hand and we're going to push this down. There's a little slot here uh, in the brass here and then there's a little slot in the propeller. You line them up and we just tighten the nut back up. Okay and again uh, you can either just use some pliers. Just turn the propeller 
and uh, you'll turn the dry shaft, which will tighten the nut up. You want to make sure this this nut is a nylock nut, so it will not come loose. But we want to make sure for top speed running to get that nice and tight. You don't want to have the propeller moving in and out on the shaft um, because it's going to just cause the boat to go slow and it'll actually cause the boat to over rev. So there you go and that's live. We haven't uh, edited that down at all. That's You're up and running and ready to go. To open the hatch you just pull this lever to the side. You can take your top cowling off. Inside here you'll notice that there's some velcro down here. Okay and your battery is just going to go in placement there. Okay, plug that guy in. You also notice this is the servo. So this is this shaft that we were moving. Once we've got it uh, secure on that end, when you open the, the boat, you're going to find inside a little, um, another little screw with the hex. Once we have this centered by turning the power on on our radio, plugging in our battery. Once this is centered, we're going to screw this in place, okay, and lock it down. Okay, and again we're going to use this here just to tighten, lock it down, and there you go. 